Good morning. Hey, God makes what, what promises to young Jeremiah the prophet? We're looking at Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 17 to 19. Therefore, prepare yourself and arise and speak to them all that I command you. Do not be dismayed before their faces, lest I dismay you before them. For behold, I have made you this day a fortified city and an iron pillar and bronze walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against its princes, against its priests, and against the people of the land. They will fight against you, but they shall not prevail against you, for I am with you, says the Lord, to deliver you. God calls Jeremiah to speak his prophecies to the leaders in Israel. And he also tells them they're going to fight against you. So there aren't any surprises here. Even so, God encourages Jeremiah with several special promises or ways of, of looking at his mission that will help him. He says he, he has made Jeremiah like a fortified city, like an iron pillar, like bronze walls. Uh, and he also says he will promise that they will not prevail, he will deliver him. So, so Jeremiah is getting a lot of reinforcement here as he's going to embark on this mission here in chapter 2. And based on the kind of fortification God is giving Jeremiah first, these are going to be pretty resistant people. So God is strengthening Jeremiah for the trust he's going to have to have to successfully execute the mission that God gives him here as his servant, his prophet. Jeremiah needs to trust God and deliver his messages. Remember we said a couple of days ago, people are living in bubbles. They don't want their little bubbles disturbed. Still true. It's going to be true for Jeremiah. And we're going to find uh, some pretty hearty resistance uh, from within the bubbles. But God's message is what it is. People may be living in their own sandcastles, but God is calling us back to his unselfish reality. Now remember, the mission of the prophet is not only to attack error, but to prepare the people for God's good things. God has so many blessings that he wants to give to us. But if he gave them to us without our change of direction, they would be destructive to us. The fact that God sends us these strong warnings, sends us these, these calls to deep repentance, shows us that he loves us and he has, his good, he has good will for us. He still sees value in us and he wants us back. If you've stepped back from following God, I can tell you, he wants you back. Let's return to him. Let's pray right now. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, help us to be faithful. Show us the way. Surely there are unsettled items for so many of our hearers, perhaps all of us, the things that we're not, we're not clear with you, Lord. We're not right with you. Please, Lord, show us, pinpoint these items for us. Help us to be faithful. Help us to do better than the kings of Judah are going to do in the book of Jeremiah. Please, Lord, chasten us in your love for us and bring us back. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Amen. May God give you and I courage to do whatever is right, whatever is needful in our own heart case, because he wants us back. He sends judgment. He chastens. Spend some time today. Put up a prayer today asking God, what do I need to do? What steps do I need to take now to come back to you? God has promises in the Bible for us, just like he had for Jeremiah, and it's good when he corrects us. In fact, God's correction is very much preferable to human acceptance. Don't forget that. May we return to him. Hey, so glad you're with us here on this channel. You should subscribe and put some comments in below. I really like to look at the comments and see your reactions. And so it's very helpful to me. Thanks. Hey, God be with you.